peace. It's your girl Melanie B out here living abundantly 360 on the porch, getting some raw, downloading this information, getting this vitamin D's, you know, activating that melanin and whatnot. Coming at you today with a video about what's up with the new beef with the vegan versus non vegans, the plant eaters versus the meat eaters. Like, when did it become such a big deal or such a uh, a wrong to, like, want to eat healthy and make people uh, conscious awareness to the food that they intake into their body is either good or bad? I'm just really, like, trying to find out because it seems like lately, because trending right now is being vegan, trending right now is um, hashtag no meat, hashtag, meat, hashtag meatless meals, you know, everybody want to be uh, on the health kick. But to me, I'm like, shit, why not? And a lot of things that we got right now are trending that's happening, that's not healthy, are beneficial to us in our community. Why not let it be uh, a happening trend that's good for us to be, you know what I'm saying, what's going on? You know, I'm trying to figure out, like, how is that a bad thing? Why is people really making statuses talking about, I guess, everybody vegan now? Like, how is that, how did that even make you sound, uh, like, popular tight or even smart because if you all know that the food is killing us and making us sick why are you going against the grain on people who are promoting health awareness like it really don't make sense to me it's like and I you know what I'm saying I don't went through a lot of things when from when I first transitioned it was 100% solid with it until like you know I fell off and transitioned back fell off transitioned back had my up and down moments till now where I'm just back full circle and I'm 100% again and I'm just like in between all of that what I've noticed is a lot of denial a lot of uh, low-key hatred be because you choosing to uh, live a certain lifestyle and be more health conscious on what you put into your temple it makes it sound like you're being bougie it makes it sound like you think you're better than other people especially when you decide to make your child you know what I'm saying vegan and you switch their eating habit as well people really get defensive like dang you really gonna take that away from your child or dang they really can't eat this no more like candy like they really be mad talking about like one piece it's like bruh you know what i'm saying when was the last time you went a certain amount of time without even eating candy or giving your child a piece of candy as a reward you know what i'm saying it's like a, it's an addiction you know what i'm saying and that's why we really don't see nothing wrong with it as parents because we are addicted to uh sugar and uh processed uh candies ourselves you know what i'm saying Sugar is very addictive. It's one molecule away from one molecule away from uh, crack. It's like really serious. That white stuff is like no good for the body. It brings your energy level down. It's a, it's just it have you up and then it have you down. You be ready to crash. And then we be having our children intaking all these sugary ass cereals every rising and sending them off to school and wondering why they're not focusing and they're going crazy. And then you know what I'm saying it's a whole lot that go into that. You know what I'm saying so. Once again, like, how did that sound when you be saying things like, so your children really is eating this way too? Like, do it make you seem like you are, are for a team, your people, or is team, low? Well, you know, well, we gonna die anyway. Like, now, how is that the new cool thing to say? Like, oh, we gonna die anyway. Yeah, you gonna die anyway. Duh, your physical shell gonna perish. But why is it that you want to go out like that in, in such a bad way, in such a bad manner that you want to have your family watch you go out with cancer, diabetes, getting limbs cut off, gout, you can't walk, you know what I'm saying, and cancer, you know what I'm saying, it's all kind of different things that's out here really killing us in the melanated community that we need to realize and really recognize and take serious. Because it's not fair to uh, the children and, you know what I'm saying, and to yourself, you know what I'm saying? It's not fair to people that's, you know what I'm saying, making health conscious awareness uh, the new thing, the new trend. Like I don't understand how mentally ill it can you can be to make a whole status downgrading somebody for making people aware of being healthy is a cool thing. Like if that's if if that makes you bougie, if that makes you whatever the case may be, then I'll be bougie and I'll be all of that because it doesn't make sense. Like when I used to make big ass plates of a pork chop, some rice and some gravy and a croissant and some corn, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't hashtagging. Uh, eat right, eat healthy, healthy, wealthy, and wise. Um, have you had your greens today? This meal got this many proteins. This got this much manganese, this much copper, and this, you know what I'm saying, pork chop. You know what I'm saying? My hashtags were soul food, 
uh, soul food Sunday, uh, but can she cook though? Dinner is ready. I never can recall me making a hashtag in regards to health when it is I used to prepare regular ass just American Beastie diet salt and sweet tea meals. It was just a starch meal with salt and sugar and just, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was no health, but I, you know what I'm saying? I got all the love. You know what I'm saying? And people was like, damn, that's what's up. You can cook, yada, yada. I never had nobody telling me that's too much of this, that's too much of that. I had a lot of people telling me, yeah, damn, you can eat a lot for, you know what I'm saying, a skinny chick. You can eat, you you be throwing down on some food. You know what I'm saying? Because I love to cook, and I still love to cook right now. But I never had nobody telling me, like, damn, that's too much gravy on them pork chops. Or, you know what I'm saying, that's like one number one, it's too many. You know what I'm saying? It was never like that. Especially when I was with child, I never had nobody check me on the very unhealthy foods that I put into my body. And I was actually the opposite. When I tried to do some healthy things, people would say things like, oh, you may not want to do that while you're pregnant. You may want to wait. It's a whole bunch, bunch of mental illness that goes on and it surrounds what we intake in our body. Like, how is being healthy such a bad deal now that we a gang? We, we are making other people feel bad that we, you know what I'm saying? We swear we all it is. Are we get it now? You're vegan. Clearly, y'all don't get what the message that we putting out. We ain't trying to be braggadocious and make us be thinking we're better than y'all. We're just making you awareness of the food. You know what I'm saying? That how it's no good for the body and it's alternatives. And you can eat a life without meat and still survive and be healthy and get your protein, which is what a lot of men, you know what I'm saying, plant uh, meat eaters say and whatnot. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, do me a favor. Next time you cook you a big old soul food meal, hashtag every healthy thing on that plate. Whether it be from some calcium, some vitamin A, E, R, K, iron, some zinc, whatever it is in that meal. Hashtag that meal and hashtag living abundantly 360 so I can see it. And then I'm going to hashtag my meal that I prepare with all what healthiness it provides into the body. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Like who is trying to help and who is trying to hinder? And it ain't even that, you know what I'm saying, you might not be necessarily trying to hinder. It's just the fact that don't be so angry about what it is that we're doing in our body. Because I can tell you, for one, when I first transitioned really hardcore and I was with it, it was a lot of resistance. A lot of people was kind of like, damn, really? So you just can give it up like that? Oh, I can't give up this. It's not, I can't live without that. Then all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying, you have a slip up or a fallback, whatever you want to call it, a setback. They all like, well, you know, you've been eating it healthy anyway, shit, you deserve it. It ain't going to hurt you. They be like, here. Or they be quick to feed you what it is they know that you're walking away from. It's crazy. So that's why I say when you're alkaline in your body, it's good to alkaline your environment. And they may include your friends and your family, you know what I'm saying? Because you can tell how much somebody really rock with you and how much they care about you if they take what it is you're doing seriously. You know what I'm saying? And, not, and, and listen to the jokes and shit that people say. And people really sick out here. They don't understand that the food really is a killer and it's a toxin to the body. And it just mess up your whole train of thought. You can be as conscious as awake you want to. But if you're still just putting up poison into your body, you're not really trying to level up to, the, to what it is you're really trying to level up to. Especially if you're still out here eating pork. And you know how many parasites live in pork.